Look, I know it's been four months since I posted a YouTube video, but it is what it is. So I'm bringing you a new vlog today. As you can see, we've got Boba Fett's throne room, and we also went to the new bricks and minifigs that opened up in my store, which is very exciting. So first I'm going to show you some pictures from the bricks and minifigs store. Okay, so what's the deal with Bobo Fett's throne room? I found this set at Costco for $70, which is $30 off its original price. If you didn't know, this thing originally cost $100. So as soon as I saw that it was $70, I knew. I was like, mm, I'm probably going to have to get that because that is a really, really good deal. $30 off is a really great deal for this set. Now, this set for $100 is kind of worth it. Um, as you can see, the build is not the best thing ever. I feel like LEGO Star Wars really shines with their ships, and they kind of lack with any buildings they do. So the build, not going to lie, isn't the best thing ever. But um, the, where the set really shines is the minifigures. As you can see, you have the new Boba Fett and Fennec Shand in one set, which is great because now you don't have to buy that $50 Slave 1 and Moff Gideon's Light Cruiser to get that duo. You have Bib Fortuna, a Corrin, and a Gamorrean Guard, all with unique headpieces, which is absolutely amazing. I love, like, weird alien species in um, Lego minifigure form and then you have these two people which are just nice to add to your collection of minifigures so I as soon as I saw this set I knew that I wanted it because Boba Fett and Fennec Shand in the same set and also even though the build might lo lo not look the best I still think the build will look cool in the background on like one of my shelves or something so I knew I had to get this when I saw the $70 price tag and also $70 matches the piece count a lot better than $100. So that's the deal with Boba Fett's throne room. I'm not sure when I'll build this, but I'll build it sometime this week and I'm not going to build it on a live stream because I just prefer to build my Lego on my own time. Building on a live stream can get kind of stressful, so yeah, I'm just going to build this on my own time sometime this week, and of course, I'll show you the build process for that. So that's what's up with Boba Fett's throne room. Alright, so I just got done editing my uh, Obi-Wan and Kenobi set reaction because those set came those sets came out and um i said in the reaction that they were two pretty good solid sets with some really good minifigure selections so i'm gonna upload this now all right since i already made a video on the obi-wan kenobi set leaks i'm gonna go over the official release here in the vlog starting off with the interceptor this is just a great set that price point is a hundred percent worth it because you do get that kaminoan and also obi-wan looks great a nice little detail lego put in is that obi-wan has a hood which is very cool and the Interceptor itself looks amazing. It looks really nice. And um, honestly, I can't wait to buy the set and put it beside my Anakin's Interceptor from 2018, I think. And so I'm, this is an exciting, exciting set. Okay, moving on to the Inquisitor transport ship. This set just got even better with the official release. Um, Obviously, the ship itself looks amazing. It's got all the, this like cool shape to it, and the minifigure selection is great with the three Inquisitors and Obi-Wan. But this thing, this thing has an interior, and like a really good one. Um, 
for the first time, we're getting, like, a really big interior inside these ships. Well, I guess maybe not for the first time, but, um, it's got a really nice interior here, which is very exciting for a lot of LEGO Star Wars fans, I know. Um, as you can see, there's details and control panels on the walls. There's a cockpit, and you can still fit at least four other minifigures in the ship itself, which is really nice. So, you can have the three inquisitors and then you can put four at least four maybe even more other minifigures in there which is really really cool so on top of this ship looking amazing as you can see here it's got a great interior great minifigure selection and is definitely worth that a hundred dollar price point so uh this is a very exciting set and uh, I can't wait for us to see this ship in the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. All right, then we have the Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader brickheads. This is a nice little brickheads. Um, Obi-Wan and Darth Vader both look amazing. And I will definitely be picking this up. This will be available um, at a Star Wars Celebration, I think. Yeah, Star Wars Celebration. This will be first available at Star Wars Celebration. Then, I think on August 1st, it will be releasing global. And so, I can't wait for this to come out. I'm just, I picked up the Mandalorian uh, Brickheads. And I'm planning on picking up the Ahsoka Brickheads at some point. So, this will be really nice to just add to the Star Wars Brickheads collection. All right, let's crack open my $70 uh, Boba Fett's throne room. I guess technically speaking, I could wait for this set to retire and sell it because those minifigures are very good. So the set would go up in price, you know, because it has Boba Fett and Fennec in the same set. And then it has a new updated Bib Fortuna. Our very first Corin and then the Gamorrean guards are obviously all very expensive. But at the same time, I want those minifigures for my own collection, so we're gonna go ahead, open this bad boy up, and build him. Ah, lovely. Push tabs. Alright, I'm gonna get back to you guys when this thing is fully, 100% completely built. Alright, so here's Boba Fett's palace all built up. Got this thing for $70, and honestly, it's a really great set. It's got an amazing minifigure selection, and the interior of the build is also really good. And I'll do a review doing a more in-depth thought, but overall, I think this is a solid 8 out of 10 set. Really nice minifigure selection, really great build to construct, and really nice interior. I think that's going to do it for the vlog. Like and subscribe if you want to be like a legend. See you in the next one.